welcome back to another Random Sam Epic Mom book review time. All right, I've got a ton of this author's books, and the author is Millie Tayden. And this one is Sharp Change. All right, background for you guys. Millie Tayden, awesome writer. In her books, she deals with full-figured women. We are gorgeous, guys. Even the larger plus-size women, gorgeous. And her characters are sarcastic, real, and very relatable. <laughs> so, and that in itself is just awesome. She's got a lot of different series she's done, great books. But for this one, anyways, this is Sharp Change. And this is a Black Meadow Pack 1 book, or a Pack Book 1. There's two of them, but whatever. All right, in Sharp Change, our main character, um, Sophia is a scientist, and her sister was turned into a werewolf. And her sister really struggled with it and everything. So in order to give her sister options, she's been working on a way of isolating the werewolf gene, or any shape-changing genes. Because, again, in this world, there's, you know, werewolves, lions, all sorts of shifters. And she's just trying to do something nice for her sister. So with her scientific mind, she has isolated not only the shapeshifter gene, but also the alpha strain of it. And she's been experimenting with it. So she finally, finally makes the breakthrough where she knows how to do it now. She can take people's ability to shapeshift, take it away. She's giving her sister options. And in her excitement, she's dancing around her lab and she accidentally sticks herself with the vials that she's using to experiment on. She is not the most graceful of person. She is, full, like I said, full figured, but <laughs> accidents happen when you're horsing around. So she sticks herself, but she doesn't just stick herself with the werewolf alpha strain. She does it with the lion alpha strain. Oh my goodness. So let's move forward. It starts to take effect. She's turning into a shapeshifter. And she's had a really big crush on her sister's alpha. Now her sister is hooked up with the beta of the pack. But the alpha is very attracted to Sophia. Sophia though doesn't think herself very highly and just doesn't want to be another notch in his belt or whatever. But once everybody starts to realize, holy crap, Sophia is a werewolf shifter. Oh shit, she's a uh, lion shifter. So again, being a dual shifter, completely unheard of. And she is, you know, she has sent off all sorts of alarm bells. But the alpha's like super happy because he's known she's his mate. He's been trying to, you know, get her to admit to it. She won't. So in this, a whole bunch of craziness is going to go on. There are people who are going to want to steal Sophia's research because they want to be able to control the shifters. So one thing after another is going to happen and Sophia is pretty much what started off as good intentions has turned into oh my goodness. And you know I think that's just how life works. I do not want to give, tell you guys too much because again the story is great. It is not very long as you guys probably know it's a very thin book all that uh, it's got do, do, do. all right 146 pages really quick and the thing is is that with her writing you're gonna get reading about these characters and you're just gonna flip page after page after page so this will be read in an afternoon it is a wonderful story uh, the next one after it is a wonderful story Almost all of her stories are great because they do deal with smart aleck women. They deal with full figured women. And I love reading them. I love just seeing that slice of reality mixed in with the sci-fi. And I just, I'm a sarcastic person. So to see that sarcastic, snarky attitude in characters in a book is just great to me. So again, if you are a full figured woman, if you do have an attitude issue, whether you're full figured or not, if you just really enjoy, you know, a little bit of the sci-fi fantasy mixed in with your romances, give these a try. Again, Sharp Change, wonderful book, 
not long great story It'll keep you on your edge of your seat you know wanting to read the next page and if any of you guys have read her before Millie Tayden let me know in the comments what your favorite book of hers is or if you've read other authors like her that you'd like to recommend and I will talk to you guys again soon you guys have a wonderful day get out there read a book try a new author do something but remember a book is always a perfect accessory and I'll talk to you guys again soon <laughs> bye enjoyed that please check out our other videos already on YouTube and give us a like and subscribe and if you hit that bell for notifications you'll know when we put something new out so try to make everyday matter by finding the fun you guys have a great one bye